that the Department of Health is not investigating itself. The investigations that are underway are done by law enforcement agencies. And therefore, there is no possibility of interference on the investigations. The minister yesterday clarified his own positions in terms of what he is uh, implicated or not implicated on the matter and the investigative report will then give a picture not only to South Africans but to the department and to the president on the matter. It's not the position of cabinet to express views on ongoing investigations. But furthermore, is this government's commitment to fight corruption at whatever level it happens, it takes place, and whenever it takes place. And we have said to law enforcement agencies, you must do your work without fear, without favor, without being intimidated. And we would like to give them space to do that work and allow them to conclude their investigations and take the appropriate decisions in terms of prosecution or non-prosecution thereof. And therefore, whether the minister steps aside or does not step aside is not a decision that cabinet will express itself on. It's the discussion that must take place between the minister and the president to the extent of the matter. But any area or any signs or allegations of corruption are viewed in a very dim light by cabinet and the president. And on that matter, that's why the investigations are taking place. In terms of the question around e tolls, the Minister of Transport continues to table various reports around e tolls and continue to engage on what are the possibilities of e tolls. What I can assure South Africans is that the cabinet is considering the possibilities of what should happen should e tolls be scrapped or what should, or what should happen should e tolls be, be maintained. What um, the Minister of How, uh, the MEC of Housing and Transport was communicating, I think, is the position of Kauteng, which is not new. Kauteng has always lobbied for the scrapping of e tolls, and they've lobbied national government for that. And we continue to say, what are the uh, permutations that are, uh, that will enable that? If should that happen, given the financial commitments that have been made with the uh, Kauteng improvement uh, road improvement program, so it's not new what the MEC has tabled. But w there is no decision at cabinet for as as we speak today around the scrapping of e tolls or non scrapping of it all, and the Minister of uh, Transport continues to engage with all the parties that are relevant, the National Treasury, the Gauteng government, and also uh, uh, continues to update cabinet on the progress with such engagements and propose various proposals that cabinet con is considering and, and once considered for the decisions to be made. As we have announced, as cabinet has announced that there is, uh, we are all noticing the numbers as they are going up in terms of infections. And uh, people are starting to notice a tick up in terms of death. We are, uh, as cabinet, discussing and consulting on the measures to make sure we protect South Africans. And a decision will be taken soon after the consultations and we'll announce the date at which the president will then hold the family meeting that we can confirm to South Africans that there will be a family meeting soon. Thank you.